And that rain did pick up overnight, uh, Cleo, and it does continue across the area. We've been talking about those uh, flash flood warnings that we do have for Dallas, Ellis County. Those have been extended now until 7 a.m. Even though the heavier rain has moved out of the area now, we are still going to be dealing with the uh, residual effects, obviously, from the very heavy rain that we saw a little bit uh, earlier here this morning, but still some light to moderate showers coming down in Dallas County. But again, that flash flood warning there has been extended until 7 a.m. And as we go down into Ellis County, you see the heavy rain has moved east of I-35 and I-45, been on out of Ellis County, but still that the flash flood warning uh, has been extended there an extra half hour until 7 a.m. So we'll still have plenty of wet roads out there. The rain is still going to be widespread, a little bit heavier, getting out toward Greenville Commerce, over, over toward Sulphur Springs, and you see that extending down toward uh, Edgewood, getting over into our far eastern counties now out toward Emory, but still some light to moderate rain up toward Carrollton right now. Louisville heading out toward Frisco. You're looking at some heavier rains picked up a little bit heading up to McKinney as well as we head a little farther north up into Collin County. Farther south, look down toward Cleburne. In those areas pushing into Hill County, we'll still see some uh, moderate shower activity there, some pockets of some heavier rain. So it is still widespread, but notice the back edge of that rain out toward Mineral Wells, our northwestern counties. The rain will be tapering off as we go through the morning. The morning commute certainly going to be a wet one out there. Give yourself plenty of extra time on those roads, but it will look a lot better as we head toward midday into the afternoon. Look at the rainfall heading out to uh, Denton right now, 69 degrees, but 0.63 inches of rain has fallen there since those uh, showers and storms started after midnight uh, tonight. And the other story will be those temperatures, that slow moving front working its way through. So we're gonna have the heavier rain and storms right along that front, the light to moderate rain behind it. And those temperatures will be falling into the upper 60s behind the front as well. Heading out to McKinney at 69 along with Sherman. Heading over to a Decatur, you're down to 68, but we'll still have plenty of 70s. Heading out toward Hills, uh, Hillsboro at 71, 78, getting out to Corsicana right now. But again, those cooler temperatures will be settling in behind that front today, and the cloud cover is going to stick around as well, along with the uh, chance for some showers. So here is your day planner taking us through the day. The widespread rain embedded thunderstorms through the morning and then they will taper off. Those rain chances do as we get into the early afternoon. I still think mostly cloudy coming home today as we'll have those northwest winds for you at around 10 miles per hour. Highs though only bouncing back into the lower 80s today. So it is going to be a nice fall day across uh, north Texas. Once we get this rain out of here, it's not going to feel too bad out there. So we'll talk more about more rain chances this week and how long these cooler temperatures will be sticking with us as well. Coming up here in just a bit, but now Kara, over to you. All right.